we're gonna demonstrate here today, like I said, three exercises for the shoulder and neck region because we sent out a poll, we said, hey guys, what areas do you guys wanna focus on? And we'll leave room for the end, you know, for the special viewers that made it here in the middle of the day on Friday to, to you know, just ask us questions and, and maybe ask us to demonstrate some things. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe we can start with a very simple thing. So camera angle number one, guys, we are, we are demonstrating why I'm gonna do this first stretch. It's called the upper trapezius stretch. And it's gonna target your upper trapezius. And most of the time what we see when- What's the upper trap? What is that? It is the muscle that is here. It goes from here, down to here, and, and then it goes all the way down to here. Except the upper part. part is only the upper part. Right. And the whole trapezius muscle is this big kite chick muscle on your back. It's uh, responsible for shrugging. Yes, you know, the upper part. It's responsible for doing this, and maybe you guys can recognize or feel that sometimes when you're sitting and getting tired, your shoulders are gonna be up here. And if you hold this for a long period of time, four to five hours of maybe playing Valorant, maybe playing Team Fight Tactics, that's what I've been playing, and it can get tight, right? So what we can do is directly address it, but we're gonna be doing some exercises that will address the other key muscles that will maybe help you prevent you know yourself from being in that position where it's shrugged. So let's just do a really simple stretch. We're gonna do it in standing. It's very easy, very nice. Uh, we'll do a very festive stretch. You're just gonna stand all the way upright. We can do you can do this on the chair too, which is nice. If I'm gonna be stretching my left upper trap, I'm gonna depress or bring my left shoulder down. You can think about sliding your left hand down that left part of your thigh. So you're actively bringing it down. Then you tuck your chin slightly, tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. Oh, I might, I feel it already there. And guess what? You bring your right arm overhead to the top of the left head and you pull, you help. Oh, wow. I'm really feeling it there. Oh yeah. I'm really feeling it there. I'm gonna now rotate. 360 degrees to just demonstrate I'm know, what it looks that. like. So we'll you guys can here. see. So you guys can see. There we go. So you can see from multiple angles what it looks like. And you hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds. So you can get a good stretch and then slowly ease out of it. Wow. I feel wow. a little unbalanced, so I'm gonna do the, the other, other side. side for sure. Yeah, we're gonna slide that right hand down the thigh actively bring our shoulder down that anchors one of the attachment points of the muscles. And then you tuck your chin a little bit to the side. And you tilt your left ear to the left shoulder. Use the other arm and pull. And so if you guys sometimes feel like this area, your upper trap area is a little stiff after you're playing a while, this can help provide some temporary relief for that sensation of like, oh man, my shoulders kind of feel heavy, my neck, my head feels a little heavy. It can help provide some of that, or alleviate some of that heaviness. But remember, we don't only do mobility or stretching exercises because that doesn't, you know, what you're doing is you're sitting for a long period of time, it's getting tight, but it's not addressing the underlying issue of, hey, maybe there's some weakness that's even leading to the tightness being developed. So what do we do? We stretch it. We stretch it, and then what else? We strengthen it. We strengthen. We strengthen. So, Ali is going to demonstrate a strengthening exercise now. For because we we stress upper trap. You can do this between your games, three times, twenty to thirty seconds. You take it. You do it in between your Valorant games, in between your cues, maybe in between your scrim blocks. It doesn't take that long. It takes less than a minute to do both sides, or maybe a full minute if you're doing thirty seconds on each side. And it can go a long way if you incorporate it throughout your gaming schedule to help alleviate or prevent some of that tightness. We do want to do some exercises now. What what yes. was the exercise that you wanted we to demonstrate? We were going to do prone extensions, like half bird dogs. Yes, do quadruped arm lifts. Yes. Lift. All right, that go ahead. also help build up the endurance. So in order to do this exercise right here, what you're going to do is you're going to get down on your uh, elbows and your knees. Hi guys. 
Hi. You're gonna to wanna to maintain this chin tuck position while you're doing this. So instead of having your forward head like that, you're gonna be tucked back like this. This is gonna actually engage those deep neck flexors against gravity. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna maintain the stability here while you activate all of the muscles behind your shoulder blades, including those upper traps. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna straighten one arm, just like this, try to get up to your ear. And so come back. All so to I'm cueing him, spine. so if he's gonna do his left side, I'm trying to get him to use his middle and lower trap. We don't want to overutilize the upper trap in this lifting position. Because again, as we know, that gets really stiff. So we're not trying to overutilize or, or put ourselves in a pattern where we tend to overuse this muscle. Instead, we want to use the ones here in the middle of the back and on the lower part of the trapezius. So here it is. It's a nice front angle. We're going to demonstrate the side angle. So I'll demonstrate that and then Elliot can cue me. So there's two ways you can do it, right? When you're down here on the elbow, it is uh, a little I guess easier to push into the ground and utilize a muscle in the front of your shoulder blade called the serratus. You're activating that and then first things first, you always pay attention to that neck position. So not like this, not like that. I'll move my hat. Nice and straight. So How am I doing guys? You're doing great. Chat loves it. Can you, Keep can it you up. just play, play beer pong on my back? Yes. Good. Lift and down. Let's squeeze. Down. Please squeeze. Down. Please. So here's what happens when you overutilize that upper trap. You guys see this? No. Bad. You want to use it, but not that much. Bad. So instead of doing that, again, push down. Use those scapular depressors, the serratus. Lift, and then down. Lift, down. Back to the side. Go. Lift, and down. And lift, lift. keep this down. Lift, yes, and down. Lift. lift. Good job, buddy. And then this is uh, just arm straight version. This is actually a lot easier. Yeah. So you want to start maybe with the easier version. This might be pretty difficult for some of you guys to maintain uh, the position of pushing your elbows into the ground while lifting. This can be a little easier for you. So start here, this will be level one for you guys. Have your chin lift, and level two will be on the ground here. So for this stretch, we will be using a foam roller, like so. And what we're gonna be doing here is actually pulling apart some of the vertebrae of the spine. And that sounds scary, but that's what the word distraction actually means. So Matt, come here. Oh, sorry. Come here. Sorry, guys. So instead of me grasping Matt's head like so and pulling it up. Ah! Ah! No. Well, it's it's not. It feels great. It feels, it feels great. amazing. It really does. But unless you have someone who can yank on your head all day, <laughs> uh, we're going to be using this instead. <laughs> all righty. So, what this is doing here is I'm laying over the back of this foam roller. My arch of my neck is gently cradled. And I'm going to take my hands here, and as I lean back, I'm just going to gently pull up while I lean back into this. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. And so what this is doing is, if you can see, the line of pull is going this way. And guess what? Some of those muscles that we talked about earlier in the back of his neck, they get shortened right in that forward head position. So he's lengthening it, he's stretching it here. If he wants to add a little bit of a bonus, he can work on his deep neck muscles here and tuck his chin down. And that also helps to stretch this even more. So he's, you can, you can do both, but you know, we, we like to keep it simple. We can keep it straightforward. We can only focus on the stretch. It's essentially as if I were with him here all the time, holding and pulling his head up. You can see, again, line of pull is pulling the neck muscles along the back here, stretching them. So that when you're like this, you see how they're tightened or they're shortened here? You can lengthen them. And so how long do you hold this? I would say you can hold it for about a minute, minute and a half. Mm, very nice. 
this is a it's also a nice place to kind of just hang out and sit you can you can use it as a lever to really lengthen that part of your neck especially if you add a little bit of a chin tuck on top correct and now we're gonna again work on the key muscles that allow our shoulders to do this call it a little bit of a posterior tilt right so what do you guys see all the time when we're gaming trundle okay you see that we see the shoulders rounded and tilted forward so we'll, what we want to do is work on the opposite right when when elliot was doing his quadruped arm lifts he was working on that middle and that lower trapezius and so now we're going to be working more on the serratus muscles yes we are and just making sure that we can really strengthen them with this whole moment we're going to be doing that and so we're going to demonstrate with the floor angle here we're going to put this down we're going to also be in that quadruped position on our knees we're going to put the pinky side of our hand along the foam roller here and this is can actually challenge your core as well what we always want to do is we want to tuck our chin to start right because we're trying to engage and practice putting ourselves in that uh, better neck position so that it can translate better to the end. so we're going to put it there first and we maintain pressure along the pinky side of our hands as we're rolling the foam roller up we're going to lean forward lean forward lean forward lean forward until it goes overhead and what's nice is that after you get to this point you can also feel a stretch in your mid back if you do have some tightness that's limiting you at your shoulder your lats your pec it might target that as well so this is a good overall shoulder mobility exercise and as you roll back you maintain the pressure here too so you're strengthening we're using our key muscle at the front of our shoulder blade called the serratus and we're going to do another exercise probably the best exercise for the serratus according to the research best in BIC. Uh, that's the next time that's the next exercise we'll leave that for exercise number six for Elliot to demonstrate this is the foam roller floor slide and go boom and then back and go and the whole time I'm maintaining the pressure along the pinky side of my hand into the fingertips so you guys can see that you can go slowly trying to maintain that control again you don't want your shoulders to elevate like this we're not training ourselves into using the trap we want to keep it down shoulders away from the ear and you bring it back good and then repeat and if you want you can add a little stretch at the end of the reps holding ah and you come back so you can reset after five reps or so or you can go straight through with ten one two three four five sometimes you lose the distance so you want to bring it back set it close and then do it again five times not that fast obviously and then you end up in the stretch and hold it and you feel it in your mid back i am going to show you guys it's called the box lat and terry stretch you grab a stick and you hold it like this so easier version is to make it directly perpendicular to the ground like this harder is if you have your elbows inside of your wrist you guys see that elbows inside of the wrist elbows below the wrist that's easy hard easy hard easy hard easy hard easy hard easy hard okay so we'll do easy first we put it's a box because it makes a square right it makes a box you bring your knees further away and then you just lean down so and then you should feel it here and typically well, what I we can feel that yeah typically what we what we notice with some of the patients or clients that we work with is that one side might be more stiff you know so for me it's my right and for you know someone else it might be the left and what we've also noticed specifically in gaming is that the side is associated with something specific to how they have their setup what would you find in a gaming setup that would that would say hey man this side is more stiff than the other so if the keyboard is tilted in a game like counter-strike or valorant or anything look at what my arm's doing it's in internal rotation so if it says internal rotation arm rotation Mr. or Cow. or right sided if your right side is internally rotated if they maintain that position for three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven hours 
three to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days out of a month, then that can develop a lot of tightness. And that's why they might notice one side might be more stiff than the other. So you can say, okay, well, hey, if you want to, if you want to address that, you can perform this box lat and terry stretch. And if you want to bias one side, guess what? Here's the little strategy you can learn, right? If I'm trying to bias my left side, this guy's left shoulders rotated and tilted like this, you can say, okay, put your left arm a little further because it puts it into more external rotation, right? It's gonna lengthen it. And so you go, hey ya, hey ya. And you can maybe lean on that side. So that's just one of my favorite stretches. What's nice is that you can also do a last stretch just by putting the stick on the ground like this. Tiny. Can you push it into external rotation once you're in that position? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's nice. nice. Yeah. The box stretch, um, Doctor Who special, okay? Um, so, guys, we, we did a stretch, right? And now we're gonna do the last strengthening exercise. The courtesy last. of uh, Dr. Elliot Smithson, yes. medic. Captain We're here. We're here. Generous. We're here. Wait, what? Captain yeah. Obvious? Captain. Oh. Captain, Captain Respectful. Captain Dr. Respectful. Captain Dr. Respectful. Respectful. Alright, Captain Dr. Respectful is going to be. I put the hat on, but that's a bit much. Captain Dr. Respectful is going to be going over the last strengthening exercise. And what are we going to end it with? We are going to be doing serratus punches. Serratus punches. Scapular push ups. Serratus punches. Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Serratus punches! No! <laughs> hey Foot camp! Foot camp! Hello! Hello, hi! I'm down here now. We are going to be doing the legendary serratus punches. So what's a serratus, you might ask? I hear all of you vigorously typing into the chat. Let me tell you what the serratus is. It's a muscle that sits right here. Have you seen anybody that's like mega shredded and they've got like the little like fingers that are like down their chest here? Yeah, that's mega shredded. <laughs> It's all these finger-like muscles. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, goodness. All these finger oh, muscles goodness. here, they attach to the shoulder blade. And oh. It's their job to pull the shoulder blade forward like this. So they round it forward like this. It's this motion here. That's what the serratus does. So that's very important for things like reaching up overhead, not having pain when you're sitting, keeping you from slouching like this. Like all of these things are involved with good posture and movement that's functional. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing an exercise to strengthen that. So how this is gonna work, arms are gonna be here on the floor like this. You can do a whole plank if you're feeling ambitious. You can also do this on your knees. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. You can also do this on your knees if you're not feeling so ambitious. But essentially this is the movement right here. Ow! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> All right, so get out of here! Keep going! Educate them! Okay, good! So he's... I hate you so much! <laughs> he's doing... He's doing the serious... Right... Now! <laughs> Go! This is the most keep humiliating keep thing I've ever done in my life! Keep going! Press! And I swear to God, if you give me one more time, I'm gonna fucking get you down. Press and hold! Press! And hold! Press! Ah. And hold! Ah. And excellent, good. So, what did we learn? I don't know. <laughs> that thing hurts. Great, so we have all of those exercises, and maybe one thing I want you guys to take away is you guys probably heard us say serratus. Middle trap, lower trap, a lot of times during all these exercises. Dave right? Loves the traps. We love the traps. And maybe what you guys can think of is those are like the core muscles of your shoulder. That's the shoulder core. Okay? Shoulder core. The army core does these for their shoulder core. Shoulder core is actually my number one listen to genre on my Spotify rap. That's amazing. That's very true. I listen to that all the time. It's really weird yeah. genre. I don't know why. Sounds like a lot of clicking and popping. It's weird. Okay, and so, yeah. So today we reviewed three stretches, three strengthening. The strengthening exercises you can add to your regular strengthening routine if you want to gradually work on your postural endurance. The 
stretching exercises you can do also just prior to maybe a shoulder day at the, at the gym. Maybe prior to your actual workout or your actual gaming session or maybe in between or after your gaming session when you know that you've sat in a position that is maybe not optimal, you undo some of that stress by doing upper trap, box terry stretch, and the neck distraction. Okay, so please tag us on Twitter with something that you learned that you felt was beneficial. Share it with your community, share it with anyone. It always helps us so that we can help the community a little more. Learn how you can play more and hurt less. So, yes um, indeed. Tell your friends, we'll be back next Friday. We'll be back. And that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you need individualized coaching for your injuries, sleep, exercise, or nutrition, you can check out our Patreon. And of course, you can catch us live on YouTube or Twitch. Play more, hurt less.